these whites are all uh, oil paint on panel and I intentionally use um, a panel that has a really smooth finish um, and the oil paint I use a lot of uh, thinning medium on it uh, in it so that I can achieve something that feels like it sort of slides around on the surface um, I think a lot about in my practice in general and in relation to Alana's work, I thought a lot about the, the, the sort of the touch um, and the sensory experience of these objects. It's important to me to also have those marks and that kind of the origin of the work to be um, visible. that so many of our key areas have crossed over. And whilst Marty's was through painting, mine was through, um, you know, 3D objects and just ubiquitous shapes and forms and that type of thing that you really don't take much notice of. Um, and um, edges, I was really interested in edges. For me, the way they capture the light and the shadows, the soft shadowing. And then when I saw Marty's work a bit Closer, I was thinking, you know, there's a lot of detail in the shadowing and the the actual form and, and constructing that. It's really a well observed and very carefully. There's a lot of attention, really carefully paid to that and the application of paint. And I, I for me, it was almost like I think often of making ceramics is like painting with clay. theoretical aspects were um, crossed over as well. And we're just talking about one uh, with light. Yeah. The process that I normally go through is because I'm working with porcelain which is sort of notoriously difficult material to work with and I, I do a lot of repetitious throwing and, and that is almost like just like a warm-up but it also sort of gets me into a bit of a, a zone where I'm totally focused on what I'm making. Um, it gets all my senses activated and so I'm really feeling the fineness of the walls and I, I normally make you know, just constantly, I make all day for days and days and days, and then I discard most of what I've made so that I can begin to choose the, the works that are um, the most uh, most refined or um, they're, they've got the, the type of line that I want. Um, and so there's a lot of making that goes into each one, so for every one that I have that is successful, um, a lot has been made beforehand. We have varying drying conditions in Western Australia, so um, um, I have to really control dry them so that they're at the perfect uh, dryness to be able to trim them. And because the rims are so fine, I've got to do that very carefully and often I'll get a little crack in them or the crack won't show up until after the final firing. Hi, I'm Sherry Sheltari, I'm the Director of Starla Contemporary. When I first thought about the genesis of this exhibition with both Marty and Alana, it came about as a result of seeing their beautiful work at the PhD exhibition at um, Curtin University in 2018. Alana's one of my inaugural artists from one of my previous galleries in 2006, so I'm actually thrilled to be showing her work again in conjunction with Marty, who is an up-and-coming artist, but somebody whom I believe has a real quiet authenticity about her work. Mm -hmm. 